So here we go on, let's see, uh, line six, uh, take eight. Uh, Gorik, Blish, let's, uh, give Lord Farron and the commander some privacy. Timey is really memorable to me because she's, um, she's spunky and she's not afraid of what people are going to think about her pretty much ever. And she's this, uh, old soul in a young person. To me, anyway, she sees like a the kind of person you, you look up to and you want to respect and be like because it nothing gets her down really timey is getting older and she is going through a lot of things that people her age or her mental age should not have to go through as i get older and i have to go through things in my life that are experiences that have changed me i feel like timey's gone through those things like kids do but it affects her the way it affects adults. It gives, because she started out as an old soul, and now she's even wiser and more worldly. So now when she might have been just a smidge more flippant about things, maybe she's, um, she has some memories that give her pause before being so uh, impulsive. So my favorite thing about Timey is um, Timey will get her done, I saw this sign driving in. It's like, get her done. That's like Timey's uh, slogan, her credo. You know, she uh, puts everything else aside, but not like she's a hard, hardened person. She has emotions and sensitivities, and I don't even think she really hides it that much. She just is very pragmatic. Oh, forgot to mention, to prove it only infects humans, he did expose himself to the contagion. But nothing happened. A lot of my characters, I will either arrive at technically or I'll channel someone. And Timey is my niece. And my niece is a spitfire and she just goes after what she wants and she doesn't, doesn't always think about the repercussions. But it's easy for me to get to her. Well, now I fall into Timey, you know, in my sleep. Huh? Is that a thing? But to find her initially, that's where I got her from. And, and all I have to do is put myself in my niece's uh, body and imagine I'm with her and then her voice comes out. Because to me, all my characters, they can sound the same. It's my voice. But it's the personality underneath them that determines all the, um, the innuendos and the inflections and the different emphases and the, the, the attitudes towards things. If you have a teleporter in your arm, that information should come out earlier. Timey knows a lot of things that she's maybe not sharing with everybody yet. And it's that adult uh, secret that a kid has to keep. So she has a, a, a big box of secrets that she has to <sighs> keep to herself. I wasn't ready to tell you, but my condition, it's... um. It's not in remission anymore. It's getting worse. Sometimes the pain is so bad I can hardly focus. I can't calculate how much time I have, but there's an end. Putting Timey through a lot of the emotional things that she's going through right now, it's it draws on a lot of things. I, I have my strong acting uh, training to as a foundation. But then the things that I've gone through with my in my life and that my niece has gone through and that we've gone through together, all those uh, experiences, they really help get to that point. Um, this is probably, of all the video games and jobs I've done, the one that has required um, such an extreme shift in emotions um, because she goes from the, the snarky to broken and very frightened to scared scared for her life and losing someone she loves so there's this huge range of emotions and i'm i'm really grateful that you know you guys the producers the whole company has trusted me to be able to uh navigate timey through all these different um emotions because she has a lot she has a lot of stuff going on with her it's painful and there have been a lot of painful things with, um, in my life that hurt a lot, both with my niece and my mom and just stuff. So it does help me get there. So 
So sadness is part of life, and it really helps in acting, and it's not fun, but that's the job. Blish sacrificed himself to give us time to stop Kral Katorik. That's her priority. Hey, we have a job to do. But there's no way we can do this without Aurene. We have to find her. <laughs>